Last year, we created the Caesar Aura Scanner, our second campaign on Indiegogo, and you loved it. We created a community of over 20,000 backers and 150,000 users around the world. And we scanned everything. Now we're back. With a scanner like you've never seen before. This is the Caesar Shine Ultra. Our new, super portable, adjustable scanner with our most advanced tech yet. With 13 full-sized megapixels and 340 DPI, which means you get superior quality scans every time. The Caesar Shine Ultra features the patented Curve Flatten technology, which means you can scan anything and it will give you absolutely flat scans with colors that are more vivid than ever before. But where the Caesar Shine really shines is how it makes scanning simple. It's completely powered by your laptop, so no extra cables needed. It recognizes more than 180 languages. It's super fast, whether you need to scan one document or a hundred. With the blazing speed of scanning one page each second. And it's super portable. Carry it with you in your backpack and you have the power to scan on the go anywhere. And the Caesar Shine is also capable of recording video while scanning. So you can use it in your presentations. And the adjustable height ensures that you catch the smallest details. We've worked hard on perfecting the most portable and advanced scanner yet. Get Back to us and be the first to enjoy the Caesar Shine Ultra. Um, it's a very interesting design, quite like it. Pops up and locks into place. Now at the bottom here you'll see a cutout. This is where your cables will feed through for your foot pedal, which is a USB cable device and another USB cable for powering the device. So you can plug this into a laptop, a Mac or a PC and that device will power this so it's powered by USB and you do get a USB A to B cable as well. So on here you can see the two LEDs and a camera smack bang in the middle of that. Now this just pulls out like that. And locks into place. So this would be the operating position of the scanner. Got the Caesar Shine logo there. Also a few vents on the side there as well. Now in the box, we have this mat. This can roll out. It's got a slight little cut out there. And that's gonna go nicely round the base of the scanner there. Now this side is rubbery and grippy, so I'm guessing it's probably best to do it this way so it's not sliding about. So get a good grip. And there we go. So I think this makes it easier for the scanner to read whatever information or pages you put down on here. So you certainly get some good quality thick USB cable. This is USB A to B to connect to the laptop. Okay, so we've applied power to the device. There's a little knob on here. You can turn the light on and off. And this knob also increases and decreases the brightness. But we'll have to find the optimum setting when scanning. So I'm going to install the CD now that we've got with it, get all the drivers and the application there. While the application installs, let's take a quick look at the foot pedal. There we go. Just a little stapler. Um, yeah, it's made of plastic, foam bottom there for a grip, and a USB connector. So they use this whenever you want to scan something. I suppose you can put it on the floor as a foot pedal, which it is a foot pedal, and click every time you want to scan. Okay, so the application's installed, and it's now launched. I can put my hand under the scanner, and you can see my hand there, and there's like a 
grid that's sort of locked onto my hand. On the side here, look, you can choose flat paper, curved book, combined sides, or scan a selected region as well. Color, black and white, grayscale, stamps, patterns, non-filter. Let me go and get a book. Oh, wow. Now you saw the yellow lines that are now surrounding the box. So it's, if I move that quickly now, you'll see the lines move and then should crop back in. Yeah, so that's gonna keep it nice and neat for when it scans. So let's keep it straight like that. Have a look, yeah, perfect. Now that looks really, really good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press the pedal. And that has captured the scan and it pops over there at the far left. That's just processing that now. Can we open that up? Okay, so I've come back here and you can see it perfectly, perfectly cropped there. And then you can export this Word, Excel, PDF. You can rotate it, crop it, put a watermark or even print as well. So I think the scanner does a really, really neat job. It's cut out obviously all the, uh, the background and I think that's another reason why the black mat underneath does a really good job with the accuracy of the cropping there as well. So let's scan something else. If you think the scanner is too high, you can pull this down, remember? So we get closer to the book or paper or sheet or whatever. But obviously you're gonna then fit a little bit less in, in the surface area. So when you do open this out, You gotta make sure obviously it fits in the black square. We'll put the scanner back up 